I'm back. Um, I'm in Chicago. I want to tell you all about my trip. I'm tired. It's early in the morning. Alhamdulillah. Um, the trip was good, actually. Uh, I had some drama with travel and whatever. But my baby was great. I mean, she... Uh, she, I mean, she would cry a little if she got hungry or something, and then I had to, you know, adjust her under the cover, of the, you know, the breastfeeder in the airport, but she was so excellent, and people are so nice when you're traveling with a baby by yourself, they just want to help you out. In fact, at one point I was, like, having travel issues, and a lady walks up to me and she says, oh, she's so beautiful, God bless you, and I said, thank you, mashallah. And then she says, are you traveling alone? I said, yes. She said, would you like something to drink? And so I went to grab my purse. Oh, yes, please. And she says, no, 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 I'll get it. And she bought me a bottle of water. See, people are so good. Um, and I really feel like uh, having a baby, well, okay, walking around with a baby just spreads so much joy. You know, if you're a mother, like, people are like, oh. But it seems like... It really equalizes the hijab. Like, I, it's, I don't notice anyone when people stare at me, but my family and friends tell me, like, people are really staring. Oh, my goodness. You know? But now people are staring because of my baby. And they're like, oh, she's just so lovely. And they smile at you and they talk to you. And it's no longer foreign, scary, whatever. People, you know, even assume I can speak English, I guess. So <laughs> it's interesting. Um, so that was a really nice experience. The people were just very nice and kind. And she, my baby was so good. A lot made it so easy on me. She was smiling and happy and she slept most of the time. She really didn't get fussy until we got to Chicago. And she's like, okay, that's enough. I'm ready to get out of this car seat. I am tired. I am hungry. I want to go to sleep. But it was just, it was a lot of, uh, it was overstimulation. You know, so many people to see and everybody loving her and, so we didn't go to the hotel where the family was. We just stayed at my sister's house. All the people, a friend came to visit us. And my baby, she finally went to sleep all tuckered out. And she slept through most of the night, alhamdulillah. So it's been a really good trip. It really wasn't that bad uh, traveling with my baby like I thought it would be. And uh, I'm so happy to see everybody. I've only seen... Um, my two sisters and my mom and my cousin and her children and one of my friends so far. But today, inshallah, I'll get to see everybody. I'm so excited. And do it while fasting. Alhamdulillah. So, um, people were like, you're fasting while you're breastfeeding and traveling? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know how that works, though. Tell me if you know. If you, um, if you don't fast while traveling, is that the whole trip? I'm going to fast anyway today and tomorrow, inshallah, but I just, I didn't, I felt like that was taking advantage if I, I'm not really doing anything today. I'm already going to combine my prayers, like, although, you know, am I skipping out on the mercy of Allah like that? I don't know, I just want to, I, I really like, I love to fast in Ramadan. It, it's a spiritual high and it's, it's not the same as fasting any other time of the year, I find. When you fast, other times of the year, you do feel, you know, a high and you do feel all of that. But I feel like, I mean, we all know there's so many blessings in Ramadan. I, I really hate to miss any of it. And I visited a sister the other day and she's pregnant. She said she couldn't fast. So she tried to the first day and she just, she got sick. And she's like, oh, she said, I just cried and cried. I really wanted to fast. I said, oh, bless your heart. Maybe Allah bless her. May Allah bless her with the reward of that fast of the whole month. I mean, plus when she makes it up, I mean, so that's another mercy. But I don't know. Anyway, that's what I was asking. If you don't fast when you're traveling, do you not fast the whole trip or do you not fast just a day? Um, it's okay if you don't want to answer because you don't want to, you know, speak on thick. I guess I should ask a scholar. But um, I guess I didn't think about it because I know I'm going to fast in the middle of the trip anyway. And some people do choose to fast for the traveling, but uh, in the airport during a heat wave with a baby breastfeeding, I, that's I'm I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take advantage of that mercy at that time. It was good. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So anyway, the plan. Oh, 
trying to show my hair. The plan is uh, to go ahead through the day today. Uh, I'm going to make it easy on me, I mean. And uh, it should be good. Yay, family reunion. I, I feel like family reunions used to be fun when I was young because you get to play with your cousins. But, like, now it means so much more to see everybody. And we lost a great uncle this year, um, my great uncle. So it really hit home that, you know, you really don't know if you don't go this year. You don't know if you're going to, that person's even going to be there in two years or if the family, any of us will be here, you know, the death could be around the corner. So it's good to enjoy your people while you can. And I just, I'm so excited to be back in Chicago. I miss it so much. I mean... I don't like Florida that much, but I've decided to make the best of it and um, be thankful that I have people there and I have a good Muslim community there and I have friends from school and a great husband. And so I was like, you know, it's, it, it, I don't feel like it's being thankful to a lot if I'm going to be there and have all these opportunities and just be, oh, I don't like it here, I want to move. So I'll pouty like a child. So. I decided to make the best of it. And it's getting, been getting better, actually. Alhamdulillah. Because I you know, quit being such a child about it. But, what was I saying? Um, but, Chicago. When I got here, I just was like, my city. It's got so much flavor. It's so good. And I got some good Thai food when I got here. And I can't wait to. It's a whole bunch of stuff I want to eat. But, you know. I don't have that many meals I'm going to eat here because I'll be fasting. And tonight is the banquet for the family reunion, so I guess we'll eat there. I don't think I'll go to dinner afterwards. Um, I wanted to show you something that's really cute. I don't think my sister will mind, but because um, I have to decorate my house soon. And so I really like how they did the walls. You see the, the mural that someone painted for them? Isn't that really cute? I love that, um, I don't know if you can see it well, isn't that cute? Anyway, I know people do the Islamic art, like the, uh, designs and things on the wall. I thought that would be a good idea. Anyway, good to talk to you all. Just wanted to check in and give a follow-up on my trip. I couldn't really vlog. I was so exhausted, but we made it, and we're gonna have a good time, inshallah. All right, salam alaikum. Oh, I saw so many Muslims too in the airport in Philly. I know there's a lot of there's a big Muslim population there, but so many hijabis is what I'm saying. I, mean, I don't know how many Muslims I actually saw, <laughs> but it was awesome. All right, salam alaikum.